This video is about releasing the three cannons right behind me. They look very similar because, well, they do very similar things. They all are the same cannon. The only difference is the nuke on each cannon. This cannon over here is a web nuke. This one over here is an efficient nuke. And this one over here is a pseudo. Now, before you use these cannons, these cannons all do the same thing. Let me explain what they do quickly. They are all a 255 three second. They can all barrel stack OSRB. Each one can nuke, obviously each in different ways. They can all bypass, they can all double tap, they can all slab bust, and on each cannon it has shot control. I've said that the three cannons are similar, and they're also similar in both how they work and how they're watered. They're all watered the same way, so what I'm about to do right now is how you water them all. So if you start over here, I would actually suggest starting at shot control so you don't forget it. So come down to the levers. There's this one dispenser over here. Just place some water right there. Next, come up to the stair here. This is exposure. Place water on top of the stair. Just make sure that there is water here. So you can place a source there if you want. I'm not going to as placing it on top covers it all. Next, you want to come into power and just spam water on the bottom. Come out through the back, you go into the sand comp, place water there, and then you just go across the floor. Same thing for here. This is the nuke part on all the cannons, so just put water there. Make sure that water is actually flowing into there. That's all the water you need in order to water this booster here. After the nuke, you come up and you go into the hammer. And you do the same thing like the other ones, you make sure that there is water on the floor there. And the water will flow down, watering this booster. And with that, that is cannon fully watered. I'll be firing at some walls, and I'll be firing at them with the efficient nuke, which is this one. I'm going to take away the protection blocks. And I'm going to place down a chunk loader. Which I already have one. But, there you go. The schematics will not have a lever on them, as some servers don't allow autos, so... This cannon can auto and button spam, pretty much the same thing. When you fill cannon, make sure that shot control is actually filled. So that's as simple as a TNT command, like that. And with that, let's go check out the walls. The walls are just four mine chats, some flat walls, regen filters that are dry to showcase bypass, and some regen filters to show that the cannon can bud region filters so let's start firing at these walls so we have first starting off is a mine chat there are no slabs down at the bottom so if i go back to cannon i want to use nuke and osrb because there's no slabs down at the bottom you don't need slab bust on since you don't need a bypass you don't need bypass on and since we're not double tapping for these mine chats although you can i'm not going to add double tap as there's a way to straight line these that's really easy and fun. So if I fire, OMW, you'll see that this mine chat will actually get broken in the front. Now these mine chats are front filled, so that's why you see some obsidian here where this would probably be stone or on other servers it would just be nothing. So it does a nice tall OSRB thanks to the nuke being on at the same time. Now if you fire again, It'll go right through this pillar and it'll nuke down. Just does a really good job at barrel stack or being and nuking down. You'll get a better result on a web on the web bust with this actually breaking down. The pseudo will do the same thing. Just they'll all have different results though. They can all straight line mine chats like this. I know that it's two shots on a mine chat if you aim for the slit here, but I know that. I'm hitting right here and this is in a slit, so it's two shots here, three shots here on crystal. So I'm just going to count this quickly. That's three, that's going to be another three, so that's six, plus two gives you eight shots in shot control. Let's go over here, take out the TNT. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Cool. Now if I just lever it, go over to the walls and turn off my animations because so you can see this a little bit better 
OSRBs, nukes down. And it continues this. It can, three second OSRB as you can see here. And it's just shredding through the walls like crazy. So this is why I like bar barrel stack OSRB as you can do this to mine chats. Here we go, last two shots. One and two. Okay, cool. We'll go back to the cannon now. There are no slabs on any of these walls, I know that, so you won't see slab bust, sadly, but it does slab bust. So, these are just flat walls, turn off OSRB, and as you saw, the clock was still running when I came back, but there's nothing in shot control, so that means there's nothing going to be there. So, with just nuke on, I know that there's 10 walls over there, so if I get some blocks, some TNT in my case, fill it up with 10 shots, and lever to go over to the wall this is the efficient nuke which efficient nukes all the way down to bedrock i wonder if i can see it from here yep as you can see bedrock down there this was optifine it's three seconding two five fiving After these walls, there's just going to be some region filters. I'm going to turn on bypass. It's the last of the wall. Um, see. Turn off lever. So I know that I'm going to need bypass, and I know that I'm going to need to bud the region filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on bypass. The walls that I'm shooting at are 45 chunks from the cannon, which it's a, which 45 chunks is the max range. You can find this kind of information in the description. By default, the bypass is going to be at one redstone tick here. There's going to be two bypasses. To toggle on this side of the bypass, you would have to place a redstone there. So when this redstone block pushes, it'll power this redstone. Though, since I know how to use bypass and I know what I need on, and I know the game takes a travel that I need to hit, this one hits the first, this one hits second, if I add a tick to there, this one now hits the third, this one hits the fourth. If I add one more, this one hits the fifth. And this cannon has five game ticks of travel, so I'm going to need the fifth one considering how I'm shooting at the last game tick of travel. So now with bypass configured, I can go over to my toggles, make sure that my toggles are all good, and make sure that there's TNT in shot control. I'm just going to quickly TF to make sure all dispensers are filled. So nuke and bypass. Just going to fire once. Go over to the wall. I turned on explosions. You can see, bypasses through these two filters. Hits this filter over here. So I'm going to want to bud. So I know what block I'm clipping on for this regen filter. I'm clipping on this block, not this top block. So I'm going to try to bud this block right here. Now, how budding regen filters work with a barrel stack OSRB is you want to aim at the full block below it. So, you're going to try to aim for this block here. Now, I'm pretty sure if I run through the walls at this Y level, I'll be clipping on some obsidian here. So, I'm going to lower barrel in order to hit those obsidian clips with just normal nuke. You can keep on bypass if you want to. And I'm going to make sure that I'm aiming and hitting this block here before I go and try to bud the filter. So let's just get the actual height that you need to be at, which is 250. If I go over to cannon. Go up. So I need to be at Y250 for this block here, for the Y. So you can see this is Y250 in the top left here. If I go to the home walls and fire, you'll see that I should clip on that there, or this one over here. Gets rid of the clip and drops the region down even more. If I fire again, one last time before I have to change toggles again, you'll see that it just nukes it all the way down nicely. Cool. And now that if I fire, off, go over to this wall, 
Which one is it? Ah, this one. You can see it just stacked here and it blew it up. Fire one more time to show you that it is hitting right here. The nuke is very delayed because of how I'm trying to bud the filter. See, stacks there. Perfect. You know that you're hitting at this block here. Go over back to the cannon. Now, for budding a filter, in my circumstance, I'm having bypass, nuke, and OSRB. If you don't have any bypass block that you need to bypass, then turn off bypass. The only thing you need to bud filters is nuke and OSRB. Though for the pseudo, which is over there, I'll show that later, budding a regen filter, it's a little bit different. There's a little bit of a different procedure. So with these toggles here, I'm just going to fire once. OSRB is on. We're hitting this block here. So it stacks. And it buds the block that we were clipping on. So with this regen filter budded completely, if I were to adjust back up, which this would be the height that I would adjust to, I would be hitting this regen filter here. Now, due to the height of it, what I can do is I can actually stack and get rid of the lava. So before I fire, let me just adjust back up. As you can see, Y253. And that's good. If I go back to the walls. So there is another way that you could actually get through this regen filter instead of getting rid of this lava here, is you can continue to bud down this regen filter and then bud this regen filter as well to make sure that you don't need bypass or anything else. But since we're already using bypass, may as well use it. So if I fire once, it should stack right here. Since it's a barrel stack, it should get rid of all the lava and perfect. Considering how we still have bypass on and we don't need to change it, can fire once more and we'll hit this diamond block at the back there you go and nukes all the way down beautifully let's show the web bus nuke in action in terms of its nuking capabilities so i'll be firing at this obsidian wall if i grab a potato i can see that the obsidian durability is out of four so web bus nukes are a bit different on all servers so it's not going to have the exact same result. But on here, when I fire, you'll see that the nuke starts at 255 and doesn't go all the way down to bedrock. But as you see, it does a nice three wide on crystal. And it's about 50 blocks tall, I believe, or 50 blocks long. Go down here. Yeah, 55 blocks on crystal. Again, on your server, it may vary. Now let me show you how to bud the regen filters with the pseudo cannon. So we're hitting this block here. So what I want is I'm going to try to bud this top block. So aiming here, again, for barrel stack OSRB, the block that you want to bud, you have to aim one below. So I would be hitting this block at normal barrel height. So I have to hit this block with OSRB. So to bud, on the pseudo you want osrb and double tap on when double tap is off this block will be up make sure that when you have double tap on that when you're going to bud a regen filter make sure that this block is down so for actually just budding keep osrb on double tap is on and there's tnt and shot control this cannon's protected so don't have to worry about it and barrel set up to aim at there so if I go fire it, speed 10 all the way back up here, you'll see that a stack will happen there. You can see OSRB in there, double tap will break the block, and you can see the top block is budded. I will hit this diamond block to show you that you are shooting through, although it is very obvious that it is through. Flash F. Show you. There you go. And that's it. You can find the schematics down in the description. There's going to be three schematics for each cannon. So there's going to be a cobblestone one, there's going to be a stone one, and there's going to be an obsidian one. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to comment them or ask questions in my Discord, which is linked down below in the description as well. And thank you for watching.